Hey, geek protagonist, and <clears throat> there's something that after reading that uh, Captain America comic, which I will review, um, what did I read, how I feel, what I thought, <laughs> those different things. There's something that needs to be discussed that I'm seeing too much and it's like okay is it just story bankruptcy or what <clears throat> so quick synopsis Captain America is in a dark room disillusioned by America and they're talking about all the current events and all the stuff and you know the same old same old which I'm like you don't need to do current events if it's something small because it opens up another problem because then it turns into, well, if you're going to use current events here, as in why, you know, they are not going to stop this or why wouldn't these heroes have stopped the capital storming or <clears throat> any of the other craziness? It, it starts to get very convoluted very quickly. But then you think about the other thing that people need to kind of wrap their heads around when people talk about stuff being po political woke whatever it's usually a, a problem not because of the the politics it's how they're portrayed there's a difference between oh Captain America sitting there talking about you know, Donald Trump and junk like that versus Captain America doing something, trying to fix things. Now, in, in the story, like I said, I'm not really going through it right now. I'm just giving you a quick idea because it, it's not just Cap. It's just that this is the most recent one that made me think about it. They always have it. I mean, Tahanishi Coates is terrible run. Um, I think the one prior to that it's always Captain America being just disillusioned with America and, and how it's so bad and the American dream's not the dream anymore and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, why don't you guys write an actual cool story? This is supposed to be the celebration of who Captain America is. And I can already tell you what's probably going to happen is he's going to see a bunch of people from different races and different walks of life somehow miraculously reinvigorate him to be Captain America even though his shield got stolen because he got ambushed and somehow and okay and then they, they, they grab each uh, different person from a walk of life to specifically make sure that does it uh, they got the Captain Jenna to tell ya, and they got the guy of the unhoused no they're homeless I, I don't I've decided I don't subscribe to certain things if I don't care. It, it, the person's homeless, they're homeless. Just, like, stop trying to always make things more than what they are. But beyond that, you also have this um, this factor where it's like, he's disillusioned. I'm like, how many times are we going to have the disillusioned Captain America? Look, this dude is, any given day, is either my second or third favorite superhero on any given day. And for a while, he's actually been my second. And it's like, all right, so why don't you, if you want to celebrate Captain America and you want to show how he inspires people, so you have these people dress in versions of him, and then you got a, 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 a Native American person, because <clears throat> they're going to want to be like, you know, Captain America, the representation of the guy uh, or the guy who represents the people that stole their land. Sure. Why not? And I'm like, all right. Y'all, first off, been down this path. Number two, the story is just dumb. <clears throat> like with the shield, vibranium. All right. This is how you, you, you do a Captain America story celebration. If you want him... I mean, this is my opinion. Y'all can say I'm wrong. If you want him to be disillusioned by America, maybe instead of having it where he's just bashing America per usual, <clears throat> maybe this time he can look and go, I can do more. I'm Captain America. I'm supposed to represent the American dream. I can do more. I can be better. 
and maybe take on more of these problems and not always with his fist, but with his heart trying to fix a thing. Maybe have him where he shows the honor in the sense of, you know, he saves somebody and maybe talks to them or maybe turn like talks to a person who felt a certain way. Maybe there is a thing going on where people are, are having different ideologies. Maybe the political thing, like you have it where if you want to get political, have them fight these things where they're both arguing and then he breaks it down about how they're both stupid and how being an American should take above all else and figuring out a middle ground or different stuff like that. Captain America is a soldier. He's inherently political. He means Captain America. You have to deal with it. But there's ways you can tell his story and not, oh, I just can't. Like, you could have it where he literally is like, I'm going to do more. And, and, then, and then commences to do things, start to deal with smaller types of stuff. Maybe work in the community. I, I like, you know, do some community outreach. Try to help some kids in the neighborhood. You know, some some other things that that represent America. Instead of going around what he already did when he did his apology tour after they turned him into Captain Hydra. <clears throat> and they went through that apology tour just a to repeat. But it's not just Cap. That's just the latest one. Then you got like Iron Man. Every like three years or so, it's like Iron Man is getting drunk. It, it, I'm like, guys, the demon in the bottle story was amazing. Get over it. Or they, they're like, well, like, they're always having him be, like, addicted to something or anything. And it's kind of like, you could write up this character as someone who beat addiction. And maybe he could help others or things. But it's always that same story where eventually they go right back to him drinking. Or Batman. How he has to keep relearning the same lesson over and over again about, you know, being, um, working with his teammates, being a better person. It, it, I don't, it's weird. Like, it's like these characters are trapped. And then you'll see sometimes the professionals will sit there and be like, well, don't you, people need something different or, or this familiarity. It depends. They'll either say the familiarity is what people go for, but then if you get something like, I don't know, let's say the Wildcats thing, right? That they, they got announced. You'll get Wildcats, and then all of a sudden, it's, well, we gotta change everything because people don't want the familiar. Well, which one is it? Like, they need to figure these things out. It's time to tell newer stories with these characters, or just don't tell the story. I'm tired of seeing this. It's already a bad story as is and then you just got captain america lulling on i mean it was like a it was like a cnn thing or 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 something of just like how bad america is and i'm like dude this is supposed to be captain america celebration you've already had the story literally the previous person writing his story that should never have even touched that character for his belief system of what he thought of uh, September 11th, he should have never even sniffed that character or Superman in any capacity, yet they do because they're dumb. And it's like, if you want him disillusioned by the chaos that's going on, well, you could play it up like, hey, you know what? We're always fighting these things, these cosmic threats. Maybe it's time for Captain America to start helping out America. And you could have him do that. And then you could have it where there are people who are inspired by him. Maybe just to be in the community, not dress up and try to do it like how all of a sudden that guy picked up a trash can lid and now he, he can fight like Captain America. Like, it, oh my goodness. It's like, I, I know I'm rambling, but it, it just seems like Batman's always dealing with the problem with his parents. And then he's dealing with having a family. Then they get it all together. Then it goes back to Batman not trusting his family again. and do it. it I remember Arrow for a little while kept doing this thing where they kept keeping secrets and after like three seasons of it and I love Arrow after three seasons it was kind of like oh, okay guys have you not learned the lesson yet that this secret keeping doesn't work it just doesn't <laughs> yeah I don't know like I I just I don't know if it's the creative direction or not but this is why I keep looking at crowdfunding and stuff this is I think this is one of the many reasons why the, the Western comic book market is having problems. They're repeating the same stories or they're radically 
changing. They go to one extreme or the other. Like, how many more times are we going to have Captain America disillusioned with America? How many more times are we going to try to have Tony have a problem with drinking and and Batman and, and it's like uh, other characters or weird things that happen with like uh, just like with, like they have the Peter Parker Spider-Man look yet they still find a way to freshly take it like what we saw with Venom with Donny Cates that was fresh that was new that was different and I'm not saying everything has to be so but when someone kind of beats that thing Captain America, you know, kind of having him downplay America all the time is kind of goofy since, you know, he's wearing the American flag as a costume. Can we please stop doing that? I mean, I know this may not be the most interesting video, but I'm just, I'm just over it. Like, just over it, man. Like, some of these characters are just doing the same thing over and over again. And I'm like, yo, you could do a different story. You could do a different take. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you guys tell me what y'all think. You know, what, what, do, what do you think about it? Like, do, do, do you feel like superheroes, a lot of them are kind of going on that, that uh, hamster wheel? And like I said, it, it's not the only, it, it, they're just the three that really poke out for me. I'm not saying it doesn't, and I'm not saying the right writer can't fix them. But, I mean, X-Men, for whether you love it or hate it, at least this is very different from everything they've done before. And they still, like, you can still tackle a subject from multiple angles. You want Captain America to fight racism? Okay, that's great. You can attack it from maybe he's trying to help mutants or maybe he's trying to do equality. Like, no, America is supposed to be about equality. <clears throat> so I'm going to help with anything I can to make that happen just so many different ways you could do this and it's like they pick the laziest repetitive ways or if you want Tony to learn a new lesson because you you need Tony to learn a new lesson maybe with his ego or something I, like have him fight a thing I don't know I'm just saying I'm just kind of sick of the, the repeat stories and I think that's a huge reason among many as to why we're running into character like people just not being as interested in characters well y'all tell me what you think about it this is something that was on my brain i'm kind of just rambling here geek protagonist you stay safe you stay healthy stay real but i really would like to hear people's opinions about this actually do you feel like a lot there's like characters that are just going through the paces and the repeats without a lot of differences like some of the big characters because it's like they're trying to recapture the thing or like how many times is Batman going to be depressed I, I like the fact that Dick Grayson is rich and Batman is poor I mean that was something even though they had Batgirl punk him out while he was broke saying he's not doing enough and just got really weird I don't know key protagonist see ya